Every now and then, a person having basic knowledge of electricity has tried to charge a car battery using a solar panel. This is perfectly possible, but there is a drawback people are unaware of. Besides using a panel of the proper voltage so as not to overcharge the battery, there is a property of solar panels which can damage both the panel and the battery. Solar panels, besides producing electricity when exposed to sunlight, behave like diodes when in the dark. A diode is an electronic device that allows current to flow in one direction only. For the sake of explanation, let's assume the electric current leaves the source at the positive terminal and returns through the negative terminal. This assumption is widely used to simplify technical explanations. It's called conventional flow of current, and it assumes the movement of positive charges rather than negative charges, i.e. electrons. This drawing shows a car battery connected to a solar panel so that during the daytime it stores energy in order to use it at night to light a countryside home. The ammeter shows the current flow into the battery. Indeed, the panel can charge the battery during a whole day. Suppose the panel supplies enough power for the battery to reach its rated voltage. When night comes, the solar panel acts like a giant diode, causing current to flow in the opposite direction, rapidly discharging the battery while the panel can be damaged beyond repair. To avoid this, a diode is inserted in the circuit so that current cannot flow through the panel when sunlight is not present. This diode is called a blocking diode. This way, the battery power will be available to operate the lights at night. If the person decides to connect the second panel in parallel with the first one for faster battery charging, a blocking diode must be inserted for each panel. This is because if one of the panels is shaded, for example by a tree, part of the energy being produced by the first panel is short-circuited by the shaded panel, thereby causing losses. By inserting blocking diodes, this will not happen and energy is added rather than lost. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Ciao Tarin.